Hey guys, welcome to another video from Historic Militaria. Today we are looking at what I personally believe is a sort of a guerrilla copy of the French DF-37 grenade, which was a pre-World War II, 1937 to be exact, uh, design of French grenade with it saw a lot of use uh, after World War II. And it was a very standard uh, hand grenade, and this would be the defensive version of it. And this is a cast iron body, a very heavy cast iron body. And the French versions, the actual French versions, were uh, fairly neatly made. And they were well made, and they had the standard French uh, mousetrap kind of uh, igniter and detonator, where you pull the pin, this flies off. The mousetrap device uh, sets off your detonation chain and then it goes into the grenade body and explodes. Very, very simple. Uh, French grenades are fairly well made. This one, however, is not. This is, uh, it is not unmarked, but it only has numbers to show uh, any kind of marking whatsoever. And also it's got a really, really crude uh, seam here where it looks like this has been welded together now it's got a fairly decent paint job uh, it is a really heavy grenade so it is definitely made for uh, people who are going to be in a defensive position you're going to throw this thing and then you're going to seek cover because this is going to throw some big chunks everywhere and it's going to have a fairly large lethal range and you're going to want to get under cover as soon as you get rid of this uh, it does also bear some similarities to a Yugo uh, Model 62, which is kind of of the same shape. Uh, so it almost makes me wonder if this might not be a Balkan knockoff of uh, DF-37, which I'm sure would have shown up potentially in the Balkans. Or it could definitely be a Viet Cong uh, copy of the uh, French DF-37, because the Viet Cong certainly were on the receiving end of plenty of those during the battles that they were fighting with the French up through the 1950s. <coughs> Excuse me. This is actually a fairly well-made grenade, even though it is very rough. Uh, other than the seam right here, it's got pretty nice uh, fragmentation patterns not that that really helps your fragmentation but it is well made uses a an unmarked but obviously very standardized and very um again well made detonator and it's got your cast iron body and i do believe like the french versions this is aluminum and this has been uh basically screwed in so you've got your cast iron body with an aluminum sleeve and then this goes into the aluminum sleeve just again a very interesting and unusual grenade one i have not personally seen if you know exactly what it is by all means leave it in the comments tell me what i'm uh, missing what i'm wrong with and uh i'd love to know uh, if you don't share your knowledge you're not helping anybody so i'm putting this out here with what i believe it may be and again like and comment and uh, let's figure out what this guy is thanks for watching